So you want to start exercising, you want to eat healthier, you want to make the right choices, but you can't find the time. You want to own your health, but you can't find the time. I'm going to show you how to flip that mentality and turn it into making the time to invest in yourself. Stick around. What's going on, everybody? Scotty Boots here again with another video. Hope you're all doing well and having a great day out there. Time is our most valuable commodity. We've got 24 hours in the day and we can't add to that. So we need to be very careful with how we utilize our time because that is something we don't get back. And one of the easiest things to tell ourselves to avoid starting the health journey or to not stay disciplined with it is that we don't have the time. It's a very easy excuse to make, and rightfully so in some cases. We're busy, we've all got a million things going on, so it's hard to find the time. It's all about the mindset with that. So we're gonna dive into this here, show you how to make the time to invest in yourself. Before we get started though, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications here. Plenty of tips, plenty of videos coming, all surrounding health both mentally and physically, and ways to overcome these mental hurdles because so much of the health journey is really about the story we tell ourselves and how we're perceiving the situation. And sometimes it's an easy switch of how we're looking at that to approach it differently to find the success that we're looking for. Here we go. Time, most valuable commodity that we have. And our days are busy, we've got a lot of things going on. Some of us have kids, some of us have a spouse, some of us have a busy job, some of us put a lot of hours in, some of us are in school, some of us are out with friends, some of us are gamers. There's a million things. We've got so many things, especially with technology now, that occupies our time. How much time do we spend just browsing on our phones through social media? There is so much time in the day, but we find ways to occupy that time and we're constantly fed with a million things left and right to try and occupy that time. Look at all the streaming services we have, just browsing around, finding things to binge watch. There are a million things to keep us occupied. So why don't we find an hour a day to invest in ourselves? It's really about making the time. If we're trying to find time, it's never going to work because you're not going to find time in your day. It's a temporary fix. You might find an hour here, an hour there. What we need to do is take a look at our days, restructure the way that we're spending that time, and make the time to invest in ourselves. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want to turn your health around? Do you want to lose that weight? Do you want to put the healthier thing into your body? You have to make the time. If you make the time that keeps you disciplined so that way moving forward, you've got that time slot chiseled out for you every single day or a couple days a week. Whatever is going to work best for you, whatever your goal is, how hard you want to go into it, you need to figure that out and restructure your day. It's all about making time. You will never find the time unless you step back and make the time. That's how we need to approach this, all right? So the mindset isn't about, I need to find time to do this because you're never going to do it. You need to make time to do it. And we all have the time. It's very easy to say, I don't have the time. And it's an excuse. It's an excuse. We all have the time. You just have to make it. For myself, what I did, and hopefully this will help you on your journey here to health, I looked back and my big thing was food. I've got a terrible food addiction problem and that's been my biggest challenge to overcome. Exercise has always come fairly easy to me, but overcoming the food addiction and being able to eat healthier and put the right thing in my body was the biggest challenge for me. And keeping that discipline, not just eating healthy for six days and having an epic cheat day once a week um, or whatever the case might be with that, but really staying committed to a healthy eating plan. I told myself for years, I didn't have the time to focus on cooking myself a healthy meal once a day. There's no time to prepare a meal once a day. There's no time to do meal prepping and all that. The problem was, is I was trying to find the time. That's not going to work. I had to make the time. So what I did is I stepped back and I looked at my day. You got 24 hours in the day. How much time was I investing in that 24 hours that was working against me? So what I did is I approached it with my food and my food addiction. And if you looked at each day, the majority of the days I was stopping for fast food in the morning on the way to work. I would spend my hour lunch break eating more fast food or getting snacks and just sitting in my car listening to the radio snacking for an hour. And then after work, I would stop on the way home most times, grab pop, 
couple of 20 ounces to come home and just chug back, get more candy. And then a majority of days at night, after everybody was sleeping in the house or the house was winding down, I'd go back out to Walgreens and I would get myself a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream, more candy boxes, more pop, and veg out on that for the night. Looking at all of that, hours of my day was dedicated just to getting a food fix. And I'm not thinking about that as I'm trying to focus on health. All I'm thinking about is I don't have the time to do this, but kind of looking at it from the outside third-party perspective at my own self, I was spending so much time just getting my fix for food. Well, if I wanted to own my health and take control of that, that behavior needed to go. So immediately I freed up hours in my day just by not having all that time dedicated to getting my fix with food. Now, there's the time spent getting the food. Then there's the time spent lounging with the food because you're not just going to eat the food and then be ready to go do a workout. You're going to eat the food and you're going to bloat yourself out, at least in my case, get bloated from it and sit down in front of the TV and just spend the last couple hours of my night or whatever the time ended up being and just be drained because I was putting so much into my body and I just didn't have the energy. So, I flipped that around. I took that time that I was investing into all of my fixings for food that was working against me, and I spun it to create it into new time working for my benefit. And ever since I started my health journey now, every lunch hour that I have for work is my workout time. That's when I get my workout in, and on some days I do two workouts. So I get my first one in then, and I do my second one after work because I'm no longer using that time working against me. I'm not going out looking for my food fix anymore because I'm making better choices for myself with food. And that opened up so much time for me to make the time to invest in myself now. Sometimes it's that easy. And it's, it it is, it really is that easy, but I know the execution to it isn't quite as easy because whatever the struggle is or whatever your daily structure looks like might be entirely different. I myself, I've got kids, I've got a wife, I've got my home, I've got my job, I'm in a band, I do so much. I do so much and I keep myself occupied, but I still was investing so much time in my day to getting a food fix. And that's where I found the time to make the time for myself. Look at your day. Look at how you're spending that time. We all can find an hour that's working against us and invested in ourselves. And if you don't have that hour, if if you're doing everything perfectly, there's still time. Get up an hour earlier in the morning, find it there. Stay up an hour later at night, find it there. There are ways to make the time to invest in ourselves. We just have to make that time and look at our day and structure it differently. It's no different than starting a new job, right? If you are used to working a schedule, a 10 to 6, but now you got a new job that's going 7 to 4, You have to adjust and put in a lifestyle change to adjust to that new schedule. Well, what's making you do that? You're kind of getting your hand forced in that case because you've got a priority, you've got a job, you've got a responsibility to attend to now. So why don't we do that to ourselves? If someone else is forcing our hand, like an employer, or if we have to be somewhere, or if there's a party to go to, or we got dinner plans, whatever the case, we make the time for those things, but we don't make the time to invest in ourselves. It's because of self-discipline, and that's a very difficult thing to master. It's a very difficult thing to stay consistent with, but if we make the time and put that hour out each day to invest in ourselves, and if you're on a health journey for weight loss and such, that's when you make the time to do your exercise, you make the time to prepare that healthy meal for yourself, that's when you do that. If you're trying to do different things like gain knowledge and stuff, well, then you take that hour and you read books and you and you do your research and you invest that into learning and educating yourself. Think about how much you would learn or how much you would do better for yourself with weight loss if you just invested that hour a day. Think about that. That adds up over time. And before you know it, it becomes routine. And now it's become a good habit. Now you're staying disciplined. And now it's no longer trying to find time. You've made that time. It's consistent. It's concrete. You're doing it every single day. And it's all about changing how you're perceiving it up here. That's really what it boils down to. It's all what it boils down to. The difference between people that stay disciplined and people that don't stay disciplined are the ones that are making the time to do what they need to do for themselves. It's that easy, but it's not that easy to execute. But if you change the mindset and the perception to it, it will come a lot easier. 
The longer we sit back and we continue to make excuses and tell ourselves, I don't have the time, I can't find the time, I can't stay consistent, you're keeping yourself in this negative mindset that's never going to let you grow out of that. You have to change the way that you're thinking about that stuff. You need to flip it and say, I'm going to make the time. I want to own my health. I want to own my life. I want to own my mind with this. So I'm going to change my mindset with this. I'm going to make the time and I'm going to invest it in me. And at worst case, Go through your day and look at how much time is working against you. Are you spending three hours browsing Netflix every single day? Are you spending two hours browsing Netflix every single day? Cut an hour out of that. At worst case, cut an hour out of that. Are you struggling with food addiction? Look at your day and how much time goes into getting your fix for food. And then how much time after you get that fixed, you're feeling bloated and you're slouched and you don't have any motivation to get up and do anything. Look at all of that time that's working against you manipulate it to work for you. Once you change that mindset, you will start to own your health, it will help you with discipline, and you will start to get the results that you are looking for, all right? So look at the day, don't try to find the time. Make the time, make the time. That's what I've gotta say about that for today. There will be plenty more to discuss with this because there are so many different ways you can spin this in different mindsets. We'll get into more um, as more videos kind of come up and stuff. But I wanted to talk about this because really to get started with your health journey, making the time is extremely important so you don't start and then get derailed and then try to start again and get derailed. Make the time. It'll help with the discipline and staying consistent to build in good habits. All right. It's all about overcoming the mental hurdles and creating mental victories for yourself. And every single day that you stay consistent, it gets you a little bit stronger in the mind, a little bit more calloused in the mind. So that way, the next time that you're tempted to go off the rails, it's going to be easier to say no and stay the course. All right. So again, please subscribe to the channel. If you are new here, click that bell for notifications. Would appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up and comment down below with anything that has helped you. I would love to know something that has helped with you to overcome that mental hurdle when you're going to work out or you want to eat that healthy meal and you're being tempted, what do you do for yourself that helps you overcome those challenges so you can stay the course? Because it's extremely important to make sure we are staying the course with that and keeping ourselves in that positive mindset. We all know what it's like after you get past that hurdle and how good it feels to stay the course with everything with that there. So appreciate you all watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your days and always remember your limits are only what you perceive them to be. We'll see you in the next video.